which we guess now everyone to Ekiti said and what happened after that election. The governorship election in that state, in the southwest, is being won and lost. But it also is not settled just yet. The Social Democratic Party candidate, Engineer Shagwoni, uh, will be joining us live right here on the program. But let's look at some of the figures. If you look at it, the APC won in 15 local government area. PDP won uh, uh, one in F1 local government area. And if you can see, the margin of victory between uh, Biodun Yobanji and Shagwoni is 104,000. 846 votes. That's the margin of victory between them. If you look at the votes generally, registered number of votes is almost a million, but the total number of accredited voters is just 363. Total valid votes is about 351, and total vote cast 360, with rejected votes of 8,888. But if you look at the votes that the top three candidates in the race garnered, from 187,000 of Oyebanji to Shagwoni of 82,000, and 67,000 of BC Kalawale. Of course, you can see the margin of victory between Oyebanji and Shegoni, 104,000. And that of Oyebanji and BC Kalawale, the margin of victory is 119,000. Well, the journey to the government house in Ekiti State may have been determined by the vote of the people in that state, looking like Biodun Oyebanji, the governor elect, who has indeed received a certificate of return in the state. Let's now hear from the runner-up, Mr. Uh, Engineer Shagwoni, a former governor of Ekiti State and the SDP governorship candidate in that race. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, for joining us tonight. Thank you very much. How did the outcome of the election come to you? Were you surprised by the outcome? Oh, of course, I was surprised. Uh, I was surprised because we had uh, very good expectations, and uh, and it's not for nothing. We went around campaigning. We know what the people feel about us, and how they feel about us. Um, I believe that there are, there may be more to the results. You uh, think the election was rigged? Uh, rigged could even be an understatement. What do you think happened? We are not going to say anything yet until we uh, collect all our evidence and we bring them to public light. But rig may be an understatement. So you think the figures that came out of that election were not true figures? I hope they are true figures, because if they are not, it will, it will create uh, a situation where we may be running a democracy of fiction. I hope, I hope they were not. I hope the figures are true. I hope that Nigerians can believe that they will go into an election and uh, their votes will count. Well, do you think was a fundamental, I mean, obviously you're not happy with the outcome of the election. Uh, but what would you describe, how do you describe the election, or perhaps what do you imagine is the fundamental flaw that you have identified in that election? Well, there was open vote buying everywhere, and uh, we believe that is not good enough. Uh, there was also the problem of thuggery. Um, in some places, Thugs went to polling stations, shot into the air, asked everybody to lie down like it happened in Ilawe, and took away the ballot boxes. It happened in two polling units in Ilawe. And uh, so... Were those votes counted? I don't know. I don't know. Did they, they took it, but did they bring it back? Did they take I, the ballot box? I don't know. I don't know. But some of the reports that you are getting, what, what was it like? Uh, no, I don't know, because uh, some of the, some of the uh, reports, you, we cannot tally them uh, properly. And that's why we are trying to check now. Um, what happened? 
We, you know, I won't make comments about what I'm not very sure of, but we are working to situate the result properly. So that result, you don't think is genuine? You don't think is uh, the true reflection of the vote of the people? I don't think so. Even the one you got, the 82,000 votes you got? I don't think so. The APC believe that they beat you round and squarely? <laughs> well, I hope, I hope that is what happened. Then we will be confident that democracy, that if you don't get it, uh, it means it is because you don't get it. And that's what democracy should be. Um, I hope that we are not dealing with fiction to a reasonable extent. So um, it still feels like a dream, isn't it? Like, uh, I mean, for you, you still don't believe that this is real, that this is happening based no. on the expectations that you had. Yeah, definitely we had great expectations. We know what our relationship with some of the voters in some of those places are, and uh, we know uh, why we are confident about what they will deliver because of what we have delivered them, to them in the past. But nevertheless, we believe there could be surprises. But I want to be very sure. So so yeah, this is coming. Yeah, so on. let's get it right, Engineer Oni. First and foremost, uh, let's let's dissect these issues properly. What are you most surprised by? Is it the margin of victory, or by the loss? Well, I would say loss and margin. They are basically talking about the same thing. I mean, that you lost an election, maybe you could lose by two votes. I mean, that's a loss. But that you were beaten by 100 and um, uh, how many thousand? 104,000. That's a lot of votes. I believe that uh, that could not be. But you couldn't have, you don't think that you could have lost to APC? I don't believe I could have lost to them with such a margin. I don't even believe I could have lost to them. Um, let us face it. We traverse the length and breadth of Ekiti. We know what people are saying. We know how they feel. There are communities where we were virtually on challenge. Could this have been a betrayal from the people that you trusted could have, I mean, naturally would vote for you, maybe by some kind of uh, a dramatic incident? Because if you're challenging this figure, then one will wonder. So if you say that those votes may not be real, so what happened to the votes that he gave you? Were those also orchestrated votes? I am not saying that any is real until try to find out. We are right now working on trying to authenticate both mine and APCs and PDPs. We will authenticate and will come to public space very soon with what we've been able to see. But the reports that we, uh, we had on the ground on from some of the what people talked about was the fact that most of the political parties were buying votes. Um, was it that your own people did not uh, properly execute um, that project properly and did not get the required result? Well, we, we knew there may be vote buying, but... Uh, Which your party also participated in? No. Those are the allegations coming from uh, the other parties. Uh, no. That virtually it, 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 almost all the major political parties participated in vote buying. You don't go to market space to buy if you don't have money. So you didn't have the money? Well, we don't have the kind of money they're throwing around. And I can tell you, without access to public funds, nobody could buy votes at that degree of uh, intensity. I, I don't expect, that's why you will not see the other, only two of them had access to public funds. Who are those? Uh, APC and PDP. And I don't, uh, that's why the, other, the others are also not featuring. 
Did, you know, I mean, have you heard what the APC have described you? Yeah. They've called you names. They say you're a bad loser. That each time you lose an election, you always fight it out. Is it, how difficult well, is it to take a defeat? I, I will just tell them that uh, I didn't lose an election in 2007. And I know how it took. Twice I won, back to back. Twice they went to tribunal and got to, in fact, my election in 2007 was the reason people agitated that the, the, the tribunal process for governorship elections should not end at the Court of Appeal. I believe Nigerians will still remember. So if they say I was, was I the one going to court then? Was I the one suing then that uh, uh, Red Biro was used to complete accreditation papers and therefore renders votes uh, properly done without challenge invalid? I, I, I believe that when people say all this, they should think. If in 2007 there was voting and uh, I was not the one who supplied the red biro that they used for accreditation to INEC, and they went to court. I didn't even know that, I didn't notice that red biro was used for accreditation. I went there, they accredited me, and I voted. And they surfaced in the court to say red biro was used, Therefore, it renders the votes invalid. If somebody could get to that extent, who is a, who is a um, recalcitrant? Mm -hmm. I mean, let me, let, let's look at the pattern of the voting. Yeah. Uh, if you look at it, it does look like nothing really has changed. I mean, we had conversation about this election yesterday, and there were those who believe that if Engineer Shegwoni was on the ballot as a PDP candidate, that you probably may have made a lot of inroads and probably would have made a mark bigger than perhaps what we've seen today, that the vote of the PDP and the pattern in which it was in 2018 is the same pattern in which uh, look at the vote of the SDP if you put it together with the vote of the, of the PDP. The PDP in the last election had about 178,000. This time around, if you put the votes of the SDP yourself and that of the PDP together, it's about 149,000. The PDP, uh, the APC the last time, uh, the FIME, had a vote of about uh, 197,000. The APC this time around had 119,000. The pattern looked almost the same. The APC won uh, in about 11 local government at that time. The PDP won two. This time around, PDP won one. So a lot of people will imagine that the pattern of voting is very similar. So if the science looks the same, what exactly is uh, uh, Engineer Shegwoni's uh, reservation in this election? My reservation is still my reservation. I am not sure yet. And that's why I'm not accusing anybody of anything. I said, I have doubts. And I'm entitled to work on my doubts until we clear it. What are you going to do? Well, my party has said we will go to court. But I would say, let us check the evidence base first. We will check. We are working on, on is it, we are not, I am not under pressure to do anything. We, what we are doing, we are doing for the sake of democracy. But if democracy will thrive, you and I must have confidence that election does not turn to half fiction and half. Okay, so if you check and you discover part. that these elections are foolproof, that the votes of the people, will yeah. you congratulate the winner? Of course we do. Have you reached out to the winner? No. Not yet. But he's your brother. Yeah, you yeah. You were from the same brother. camp. He's, 
Right. Until, right. until political um, is stuff my now brother, divided. We are here. talking about the realities of this contest. I want to be very sure that he won fair and square. If he won fair and square, I'll come out to congratulate him. I don't have any uh, qualms about that. I don't have any inhibitions. All right. So now that you lost in this election, should you take any decision to challenge his income because you have the right to do to seek redress? And should you not be successful? Is it the end of the road? And Yenashev Goni is almost 70 years. Would you still pursue the ambition of becoming the governor of Ekiti State one more time? No. Uh, let me say it very, very clearly. I don't have any plan of contesting governorship again. Um, whether I win or not, I don't have any plan of contesting governorship again. Are you disappointed? I, I naturally, you'll be disappointed. Will this because, kick you out of politi active politics? No, 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 it won't. It will keep me in politics because there are some things to do. We cannot abandon working for democracy and working for our people because of a one-off situation like this. Mm. I personally believe that all well-meaning Nigerians should continue to strive to make Nigeria a better place. Uh, we're totally out of time. Uh, with the benefit of hindsight, um, do you imagine that maybe if you stayed back in PDP, maybe, just maybe, do you regret leaving? If things were, um, were better managed in the PDP, do you imagine staying back? Do you regret leaving the PDP? No, no. You see, let me, let me say this very, very clearly. If you study my trajectory, there's been only one reason that I have left every party I have left. Injustice. I am not going to make compromise with injustice. If I find it anywhere, I will not make compromise with it because right. there is nothing I want in life that will make me bow to evil. All right. And you know, Shagoni, SDP governorship uh, candidate in the Ekiti governorship election and the runner up in that race. Thank you so much for coming tonight. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you, Shagoni. And I wish you the very best in yeah. all your endeavors. Thank you. Well, that's how we leave the show tonight and we close it. Many thanks, everyone, for watching. I'm Shimon Kimbale. Bye for now.